While the QC wing of PDP Laban has officially endorsed Ferdinand Marcos Jr., party says it does not necessarily follow that the president, President Duterte, also supports his presidential bid. The Pimentel faction, on the other hand, slammed that move, saying that PDP Laban was established to oppose the Marcos dictatorship. Mon Guelves has the big story. We are the uh, Bongbong Marcos. Just less than two months before the May 9 elections, the ruling party, PDP Laban Cusi faction, has officially endorsed the presidential candidacy of Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Sa mga pinagpilian po, ang pinakamalapit po na magtutu magtutuloy at magtutulak ng proyekto ng Pangulong Duterte ay si dating Senador Bongbong Marcos. 13 officials signed the resolution, including Senator Bongo, who withdrew his candidacy as PDP Laban standard bearer. However, there was no signature next to the name of PDP Laban's Vice President for Visayas, Ben Everdone, who openly endorsed Marcos's closest rival, Vice President Lenny Robredo. Also absent in the formal endorsement is John Castrechones, who's under Manila Mayor Sco Moreno's ticket. Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi said that he plans to talk to these members soon. If they will abandon the party, uh, the party principles, if they uh, abandon the party, that's their uh, free choice. No, hindi naman natin pinipilit ang kwa na mag PDP sila. The Marcos camp, meanwhile, welcomed endorsement of the Cusi faction in what they called a bandwagon of support for the BBM Sara Uni team. On the other hand, Senator Coco Pimentel, who chairs the other PDP Laban faction, decried the move. Pimentel said the Cusi group's endorsement of Marcos only shows they are strangers to the political party founded by his father. With this, Pimentel said it's time for Comelec to dismiss their petition against the real party. Cusi, however, rejected this notion. Hindi na natin papatula, papatula niyan. Uh, we, are, I mean, uh, we are moving forward kasi pagkala, pagkalagi yung the past ang aming inisip at we live uh, by the past. Oh, Pwede mo lang mangyayari sa atin. Eh, kung bulok tayo noon, hindi hanggang ngayon, bulok pa rin tayo. Siyempre, kailangan naman umusad tayo. Cusi also admitted that their endorsement does not mean that President Duterte is supporting Marcos Jr., adding that it must be clarified with the presidential spokesperson first. For News 5, Mon Gualvez, We Are One News.